Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the multivariate normal distribution. Today, I will explain you how you can check whether the sample mean and the covariance matrix are independent or not. Myself, Dr. Harishkar, you can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of applied multivariate statistics. And in this playlist, you can see the various lectures related to the multivariate normal distributions and their corresponding results. So in, you can see we have defined the unbiased estimator, distribution of the sample mean, maximum likelihood estimator, all available in this playlist. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can learn many new things through these videos. So what we have discussed in our last lecture, we have seen if you have the random sample of size n and n must be greater than of the dimension of multivariate normal distribution, where this mu is called as the mean vector, while this sigma is called as the covariance matrix or it is also called as dispersion matrix either you call it as a dispersion matrix or called as the covariance matrix so based on the random samples we can define the sample mean and the covariance matrix by using this definition now the question arises is whether the sample mean and the sample covariance matrix are independently distributed or not so that's the objective of this lecture now so the first result that i will try to prove you in this is the sample mean and the sample covariance matrix that is the x bar and the sample covariance matrix capital s are independently distributed in other words you can say if you have the random sample x1 up to xn then the sample mean x bar and the sample covariance matrix are independently distributed now the proof is very simple you can see i can try to prove within the three to four minutes but you have to think about what is the concept behind that you can see we all knows x bar will also follows the multivariate normal distribution with the mean mu and the covariance matrix sigma by n again what is the distribution of this you can see if x follows my multivariate normal distribution with the mean mu and covariance matrix sigma x bar is also my multivariate normal distribution with the mean mu covariance matrix sigma by root, sigma by n then this difference i call this difference is di is again a multivariate normal distribution fine because the difference or the addition of the multivariate normal distribution is also multivariate normal distribution then when you can say it they are independently distributed that means what will be your target your target is to prove the covariance between the s and x bar is my zero or you can also prove that the covariance between the difference and the x bar is my zero fine so this will be your target if you prove this one then di and x bar are my independent fine and we all knows if x is my independent random variable then f of x is also my independent random variable so let's start with the left hand side i can substitute the value of the di which is xi minus this apply the property of the covariance this is the covariance of xi comma x bar minus covariance of x bar comma x bar fine i can apply the property of this now what is the covariance of x bar you can see what is the covariance of x bar this is sigma divided by root n and what is x bar we know x bar is a sample mean which is defined as x1 plus x2 plus xn divided by n so i can substitute the value of the x bar at this point and the covariance is my sigma divided by n again i can apply the properties of this this is 1 over n covariance of xi comma x1 plus x2 plus xn now what will happen you can open this value it is a covariance of xi comma x1 plus covariance of xi comma x2 and so on but you can see your random sample this is your sample xn are my random samples this is given to you in the statement so what does it mean this means x i's are my independent so once they are independent 
what does it means that means covariance of xi xj is my zero if i is not equal to j that's the meaning of the independence now again you can see xi xi is if i is not equal to 1 then this value will be 0 if i is not equal to 2 then it will be 0 so what does it means this value becomes my covariance of xi comma xi while rest all the features are my 0 now what is the covariance of xi what is the xi xi is follows the normal distribution multivariate normal distribution with the mean mu and variance sigma so this number is my sigma minus sigma over n so clearly say this number will be my zero so what does it means that implies di and x bar are independently distributed random variables but what is the di di is my xi minus x bar so therefore x bar and d1 d2 this is my d1 this is d2 all are my multivariate normal distribution or you can say i can write in terms of the matrix what is the covariance matrix of the x bar sigma by n what is the covariance matrix of x bar because they are independent so that its value is my zero and what is the what is the covariance matrix of the x1 that is a sigma or x2 is again sigma fine now again this zero defines the this is my x bar and this is my x i this is my x bar this is my x i so you can see x bar into x bar that's a covariance of x bar x bar is sigma by n covariance of x bar and x i i have defined this is zero and so or you can define this number is x i minus x bar it's on it's on simple your task now what we have defined that x i and d i what is the d i is x i minus x bar are my independent random variable what does it implies this implies your function that is a summation of x i minus x bar into x i minus x bar is also independent of x bar so what does it means again if this is independent then if you divide it by n again they are my independent of the x bar or you can say this is my n minus x bar that means x bar and n minus 1 s are my independent random variables so therefore x bar is a sample mean this is a sample variance both are my independently distributed random variables. so this is the way you can prove in a very very simple manner i hope you can like my video and share with your friends so that they will get the more knowledge we will start the new topic we start distribution in our next lecture till then you can simply like share and comment on my video best of luck students happy learning